Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiskey Central. If you're new here, my name is Shayla, and today I'm gonna help you find the perfect gift for the whiskey lover in your life. I'll have timestamps on screen as well as in the description box below for every category, bourbon, scotch, Irish, and rye, along with all of my other accessory gifts. I tried to pick at least a few bottles around 25, 50, and $100, so hopefully this list can be for anybody no matter what your holiday budget is. Also, if you're a whiskey lover, make sure to share this with your family to give them a little hint for the holiday season. Before we get into the video, I just want to say that these are huge generalizations. Everyone has a different palette, so if you want more specific recommendations based on what is on your shelf, just send me an email, my email is in the description box below, and I will give you some more specific recommendations. Alright, so let's start off with bourbon. Honestly, there are a ton of great options at the $25 price point. You've got Buffalo Trace, but in some states that's going to be more expensive or it's going to be really hard to find. So some other great options would be Wild Turkey 101, Elijah Craig Small Batch, or some of my personal favorites, Old Forester 100, or a Russell's Reserve 10 year. At the $50 price point, you've got a ton of great options for bourbon. There's Four Roses Small Batch, which is a little bit more floral. Then you've got a Woodford Reserve Double Oaked and Wild Turkey Rare Breed, which are great standard bourbons. You've also got a Knob Creek Nine Year Single Barrel Reserve, which is a little bit nutty and really delicious. Then you've also got Old Forester 1920 and 1910, which are classic and wonderful. And whatever you do, just don't get him this really cool looking Willet pot still bottle. So the first bottle on my around $100 list isn't actually $100. It's only $50, but you only get 375 milliliters. But if you can find it at a store, WB Saffle is an amazing bourbon. Another one that was recommended was the Joseph A. Magnus Murray Hill, which was recommended to me by my patrons. Another great bottle at the $80 to $100 price point is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. They have multiple batches, but this is a highly recommended bourbon that you can't really go wrong with, but it might be harder to find in your area. All right, so that covers it for bourbon. I'm gonna move on to scotch now. And if you aren't a scotch drinker and you want to just skip to the accessory section, I will put a timestamp right here. So I'm going to have to break this down into a few categories because different regions in Scotland have different taste profiles. So the first category I'll be doing is Highland and Speyside. So if most of the bottles that your spouse has say Highland or Speyside, this is what I would recommend. So you might find that you need to spend a little bit more than $25 to get a good single malt. So if you can, try to bump your budget up to $30 to $35, and at that price point you could get a Glenlivet Caribbean cask, which is a scotch finished in Caribbean rum casks. If you have a total wine nearby, you also could get a Glenmorangie tasting set. It has four different uh, Glenmorangie expressions, one being the ex-bourbon cask, and the others being the sherry, port, and sauterne wine cask finishings. You also might be able to get a Tomatin 12, for around that price, depending on where you live. So with $50 in the budget, there are a ton of great options. You've got Glenfiddich 12, which is a great space side and total crowd pleaser. You've also got Abelauer 12, Aberfeldy 12, the Glenfiddich 14 year bourbon barrel reserve, as well as a Glen Farkless 12. There are almost too many to name in this category, but any of those space sides or Highlands will be a great addition to anybody's Scotch collection. There are also a ton of great options under $100 or around $100. One of my personal favorites under $100 is the Balvenie 12 year double wood or a Balvenie 15 year single barrel. There's also Dalwini 15, Glen Farkless 17, or pretty much anything from Glendronic. The next scotch category is peated whiskeys, so if your spouse enjoys Isla whiskeys like Lagavulin, Laphroaig, or Ardbeg, this list is for them. One of the only bottles to recommend at around $25 is the Laphroaig 10 year. At $50, the options open up again. You've got an Ardbeg 10 year, a Bunnahabhain 12 year, a Lechik 10 year, which actually isn't from Isla, but it's on an island near Isla and is also peated. Then you've got a Highland Park 12, which is from the Highlands, and isn't extremely peated, but it's a nice, easy sipper with a bit of peat. One of the most recommended bottles around $100 is the Lagavulin 16 year. You also have the Ardbeg Ugadal, the Ardbeg Anneau. 
You could also get a Brooklady Port Charlotte Heavily Peated or a Kilhoman. And the last category is pretty small, so I will just say if your spouse has any Kilcarran, Springbank, or Glen Scotia, just get them a different version or the same version of something they already have that's almost gone and they will love it. Okay, so now for the Irish lovers. At $25, you've got the Jameson Caskmate Stout, the Jameson Black Barrel, and one of my personal favorites, the Bushmills Black Bush. At the $50 price point, you've got Redbreast 12 Year, Green Spot, Teeling Small Batch, and if you know that he likes peated whiskeys, you could get him a Connemara Peated Irish Whiskey. Whatever you do, don't get him Proper 12. Sorry to anybody that likes Proper 12. <laughs> At $100, you've got some great options. There's a Redbreast 15 Year, the highly recommended Redbreast Cast Strength, and you've also got a couple of special wine cask finishings from Green Spot. All right, so now for the rye people. At $25, you've got the Woodford Reserve rye, the Old Forester rye, or the Wild Turkey 81 or 101 rye if they have it. All right, at $50, you've got some wonderful options. There's the Bone Snapper rye, which is a little bit more floral, but is absolutely wonderful. You've got Pikesville, which is just kind of a standard crowd pleaser rye. Uh, you've also got the Wild Turkey Rare Breed Rye, and one of my personal favorites, the Willet Four Year Rye. And that one's kind of a special bottle for me personally, but it has some seriously wonderful tasting juice inside the bottle. At around $100, you've got some of my personal favorites, the Whistle Pig Ten Year Rye, the Peerless Rye, and there's also the Angel's Envy and Michter's Ten Year Rye. All right, I think that does it for this whiskey portion of the holiday list. If you have any questions or want more specific recommendations, my email is in the description box below. But for now, let's get on to the whiskey accessories. All right, so I'm gonna have Amazon affiliate links for all of the whiskey accessories that I mentioned. It'll be all in the description box down below. So one of the easiest and most appreciated whiskey gifts is the Glencairn whiskey glass. This is perfect for anybody that drinks whiskey neat but even if they don't drink whiskey neat, I think you should at least get one of these glasses just so that they can try it. It's just kind of not right to drink neat whiskey from a rocks glass. And uh, if you do get any of the glasses linked below, I recommend getting a Karen cleaner to clean them with. There's also the Aged in Ore Duo glass, which is perfect for people that like ice in their whiskey. It also comes with its own ice mold. I'll also link a couple other options down below, like the very expensive but very cool Norlin glass and the neat glass. The next category to go with glasses would be water droppers. Water droppers help open up certain whiskeys and they're super fun to use. So I linked a couple water droppers below. One is a fancier set with a wooden board to hold everything, and the other one's a little bit less expensive but is also a great option. The next category is for nosing kits. Now, these can get a bit expensive, but they really help with whiskey appreciation and nosing and tasting different flavors in whiskey. The ones from Aroma Academy are highly recommended, and I linked a few options down below. The next category is a really fun gift. It's mini whiskey barrels and other oak-related products. So they have these oak barrels that can help a whiskey that maybe needs a little bit of a flavor boost. They have personalized engraving options as well as different sized barrel options. And along with that, a great stocking stuffer would be these oak spiral infusions. You put them into a mason jar and then you pour the whiskey that needs a little bit of help in there. Uh, they're super easy to use and I linked a couple options down below. The next category is a bit more nerdy, books for the whiskey lover. So if your spouse is into scotch, one of the most recommended books would be the Malt Whiskey Yearbook. The author Ingvar writes a new updated version every year. I have a link for the 2020 version on Amazon, and the 2021 version should be available soon. You can also order direct from Ingvar's website, which I will link in the description box down below. Another book that I've enjoyed reading is Tasting Whiskey by Lou Bryson. Last but not least, if you want to get him some sweet whiskey t-shirts, you can head over to my Teespring. I have a Ron Swanson t-shirt on there for any Parks and Rec fans, along with a few other designs. All right, I hope that gave you some ideas for what to buy this holiday season. If you have any questions, just shoot me an email. And if you're a whiskey lover that wants a whiskey or a whiskey accessory to be your gift for the holidays, 
make sure to share this video with people that love you enough to buy you whiskey. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Oh, fuck. All right. Damn it. All right. <sighs> okay. Oh, God. Fading fast. Okay. We're almost done. Not really, but we're just gonna keep saying it until we're done. Get energized. <laughs> it's 6.30. I've been filming for 12 hours. <laughs> and I'm not even halfway done with this video. <laughs> And I'm so tired. <laughs> We're done. We're fucking done. Yes.